Okay, day 24. Uh, it's Wednesday the 30th. One more day left for this month, and it ends the first quarter. So, um, yeah. So, I'm a little bit hot and sweaty. Sweaty and hot. Just uh, finished my workout, my Spanish, and my YouTube. It's only 6 a.m. Yay me. If I really did this right, I'd have a lot more done by 6 a.m. I probably should have added something like mini goal or something this week. But uh, today I'm headed out to uh, do bold and then I'm going to be recording or I won't be recording. But you know what I mean? For those of you been listening to me, uh, doing my Spanish videos with Araceli. So we'll get those all knocked out as best as possible. My biggest thing and complaint kind of is I have to go to the office this morning. Actually, I got to go twice once. The test alarms, they want everybody who has an office to be there at 8 a.m. to open the door so they can make sure that the alarm went off in your office. But I got bold at 9 a.m. Then from there, I got to head on back to the office to record Araceli's video. Plus, I got an instructor meeting today that they want to do. I don't know. This education committee is getting a little bit nuts uh, with the crap they're doing. So I almost want, don't want to take it so I can say, oh, I don't have to instruct anything. <laughs> well, anyway, I do have like a little bit of a passion for instructing. It's just that the stuff that people could use, nobody like shows up for it. It's like you're wasting your time. You don't want to even put any effort into it. <sighs> also have another Lingoda lesson today, which is good. I got to uh, increase my Lingoda. So I'm just going to do it uh, twice a week for now until I can feel like I'm comfortable. So I'm going to like get through the stuff I did before, and then I like maybe pump it up to three times a week, do that for a um, couple of months, see if I can get comfortable with Spanish, and then that dog is driving me nuts. Uh, then I'll go to maybe four times a week, uh, and then like finish it up with the not what they call a 90 day sprint, and um, get as much as done as 90 days as I can, because you know the whole point is I would like to get to those 180 days and, oh my God, he's killing me, and get down to, um, get my 500 bucks back from Lingoda. I'm hoping that when they say you have to take uh, 500 classes, hopefully they don't mind the repeats, so I'm going on faith. Uh, I got um, the one closing next week, got the one in, that's closing later next month. So hopefully I'll have a million dollar month and um, they will actually recognize it. Sometimes it's like when I hit a goal, they don't recognize it. it kind of ticks me off. And the dog is ticking me off, not because it's barking, but he's just been destroying so much crap. Went outside, um, found out he destroyed um, one of the bubbler systems out in the um, little flower bed or whatever you want to call it. What makes it so bad is I just paid to have all that stuff restored and, and replaced and refinished so possibility for the little trees and bushes out there to die because they've been destroyed and now i'm just gonna have to get my gardener and have them redo everything and hope the dog doesn't pull it out and then i found a little uh pvc part i have no idea what he pulled it off of my wife keep, is saying that he's like messing around with the pool equipment and everything that, that dog is driving me down nuts. It's to a point where you almost want to like take him back to the pound. Well, I never, he didn't come from a pound, but you know what I mean. You just want to take his ass to the pound because it's like, you drove me damn nuts. I can't take this. Uh, he ripped out, fortunately it didn't mean anything. He ripped out the cable from outside that was uh, for direct TV. Fortunately, it was for the old satellite dishes and not the new ones. He... I bought brand new outdoor furniture last year, cost me a few thousand bucks, chewed on it, destroyed the covering for it. I mean, it's like he has a penchant for absolute destruction. I was trying to pick up his crap the other day, you know, because it accumulated, because I don't do it every day like my wife did when she's at home. And uh, he's just like sitting there just nipping at me the entire time. Oh my God. I don't know how much more I could take of this shit. I wanted a nice dog because I like dogs, but I don't know. I'm just too busy for this. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow 
and uh, keep it up. Uh, hopefully by the end of this 66 days, I have some semblance of speaking Spanish and I've uh, really done something uh, to my physical shape. I can feel my uh, self getting a little bit tighter again. Because, I mean, it got bad, 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 bad. But hopefully I can reverse that. And I'm, I'm trying to be calm and not rush things so I can get to where I need to be. And, you know, it, it's kind of that I want things now that destroys people. I'm going to go, you know what, I want to see some, some kind of result after 66 days. I want to see... Uh, no, some noticeable results, maybe like when somebody goes like, oh, you lost some weight by September. I mean, I'm being that slow, that intentional. So anyway, uh, it's good talking to you guys. And anybody who's watching this crap and watching me ramble, eh, whatever. Enjoy.